NVIDIA just dropped driver 591.74, and if you're still running anything older than 590, you're about to have a bad time. Not because your games won't work, but because every new game launching this month is going to tell you to update drivers. Spoiler, yes, you actually do this time. But first, what NVIDIA actually fixed? Not every driver update is just fixed random crashes. Sometimes they break stuff, which is why half of you are still on driver 566 or 581, because if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Good news! This driver seems stable. I've been running for some time. Tested Cyberpunk, Stalker, and other stuff you will see on screen. Zero crashes, zero black screens, and of course some stuttering, because Unreal Slop and Driver still not perfect. But it just works! Refreshing because last few drivers have been sketchy. Some reported VRAM issues on point .59. Others had encoding problems. NVIDIA's been pushing hotfixes every two weeks. Point .74 feels like the, okay, we actually tested this one release. Performance gains are interesting. NVIDIA's notes say optimizations for latest titles, which which is corporate speak for, we made some games run better but won't give numbers. If you're playing anything with ray tracing, you're getting 3-5% to better frame times. Battlefield 6 is clear example in this branch. If you target 144 FPS on high refresh monitor, that's staying above target versus dipping into VRR territory. More importantly, 1% lows sometimes are better, 1 or 2% improvement in worst frame drops, which is what you probably won't feel. But games feel smoother, even if average FPS barely moved. Now the big part, DLSS 4.5 support. NVIDIA announced this at CES day ago, and point .74 is the first driver enabling it. DLSS 4.5 has a new transformer model for upscaling. NVIDIA says better image quality, less ghosting, better temporal stability. From what I can tell in games like Cyberpunk's latest patch, yeah, it looks noticeably sharper. I will upload tests soon, so subscribe. Anti-aliasing is cleaner, less shimmering on fine details. Motion looks more stable. Put DLSS 4 and DLSS SS 4.5 side by side, you can definitely see improvement. Here's the annoying part. DLSS 4.5 uses FP8 acceleration on tensor cores, which RTX 40 and 50 series have, but RTX 20 and 30 series don't. If you're on an RTX 2080 Ti or RTX 3090, you can run DLSS 4.5, but you'll take a performance hit. Early testing shows 2 to 4% slower than DLSS 4. RTX 40 or 50 series? DLSS 4.5 performs same or better while looking noticeably better. Multi-frame generation now goes up to six times on RTX 50 series. GPU renders one frame. AI generates five additional frames. NVIDIA report hitting 220 to 240 FPS in Cyberpunk with full path tracing at 4K using six times fake multiplier. Catch is, it only works well if base frame rate is already 50 to 60 FPS. At 30 FPS, it'll feel terrible because input lag stacks up. But here's why you actually have to install this driver. Every new game launching in 2026 is going to support DLSS 4.5 as default. Games like New Resident Evil, Next Assassin's Creed, basically anything with 2026 release date is built around DLSS 4.5. If you don't have driver 591.74 or newer, those games will fall back to DLSS 4, meaning you're not getting image quality improvements, or DLSS won't work at all, and you'll be stuck with native rendering or FSR. Let's be real. If you bought an RTX 40 or 50 series card because you wanted DLSS, not having access to latest version because you didn't update your driver is leaving performance on the table. Like imagine buying a high-end GPU and not using its best feature because you couldn't be bothered to download a driver update. Even if you normally wait before updating drivers, this is one of those times where you just have to update because DLSS 4.5 is going to be everywhere and you don't want to be stuck on the old version. If you found this helpful and want more day one driver coverage where I actually test this stuff instead of reading patch notes, subscribe because I'm doing this for every major release and I'll see you in the next one.